when we are doing capture the flag events, it often comes up that one of the words on the webpage itself is the password that is needed to overcome the challenge. Finding this value can be very time consuming. This is where we can use Cool. Cool is a web spider that is able to collect unique words it finds within web applications. These custom word lists can later be used for input for other tooling. Its 2 in 1 functionality to spider and scrape websites for words make Cool a tool to remember during capture the flag challenges. In this video, we will explain how to use Cool to create word lists for websites. We will show you how to use basic and advanced flags to get the word lists you need. Cool was created by Robin Wood, a security researcher. The ID for it came during a poll.com podcast where there was a discussion about how to create custom word lists by spidering websites. A couple of months later, the first version of Cool was released. Because Cool is installed by default on Kali Linux, we can start to use it immediately. On other distributions, it might not be part of the package repository. If it's not part of the package repository, we can download it from its Git repository. To start Cool, we can simply supply the URL as an argument. That will run it with the pre-configured settings. When we look at the output that Cool generates, we can see that its output can be piped to other applications in the toolchain, such as John the Ripper. Cool is rarely used like this, but it's handy to know that it's capable of piping the output. By default, when we run Cool, it only processes words of three characters or longer it can find within the web page. This is adjustable with the M flag followed by a number. In the English language, three or four characters should be able to cover most interesting words or acronyms that we might want to collect. Be aware that other languages, three characters might be too short to cover most words. The average word size for other languages can be easily found with a search online. The with numbers flag enables collections of words that contain numbers. This means that numbers are also counted as letters and are recorded by Cool. For example, when running Cool with the default settings, a word such as SE3 would not be seen as a word without the with numbers flag. The D flag followed by a number is used to select how many directories deep we want to let Cool spider. By default, this is set to two directories. While setting it to a larger value will make a more complete crawl, it also increases the time that it takes to run. Modern web applications most likely have a directory structure larger than two directories deep so a balance needs to be found between time and completeness. It can be required to change a user agent. We can do this with the U flag followed by a string. The user agent contains information about the browser we are using. Some websites display different information based on the browser that is used. For example, mobile web pages often have different information than the default non-mobile page or when using Internet Explorer since it renders web pages differently. If we need to send a special header along with a request, we can do this with the H flag followed by a string containing a header with the format header name colon header data. This is common when needing to send cookies or other session information along with the request, but can also be required by bug bounty programs so that bug bounty hunters can be tracked easily within the client network. If we need to send multiple headers, we must use the header flag multiple times. Who can search for other tags within a web page? It's able to find emails with the E flag. This will record the emails that are encountered in the page. This flag is often used together with the email file flag, which splits the words and emails Cool finds into separate files. This could be handy during capture the flag events, where a username might be hidden in a website. During real world engagements, usually we only find public contact information in web pages. We can also get the metadata that is contained in PDF files and Word documents to get more information. This is extracted using the A flag. To use this flag, we need to have EXIF tools installed. By using the meta file flag followed by a string, we can store the metadata to a separate file. To write the output that Cool produces to a file, we can use the W flag followed by a string. The string that we use is the file name that we want to create. Output can then be used in other tools such as John the Ripper. If you know any cybersecurity tools or topics that you want videos from, then leave a comment and maybe we'll look at the tool or topic you suggested. This concludes the cool video. If you learned anything, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. It would really help us in the YouTube algorithm.